Coming to you from a triangulation, a perfect triangulation of Indiana, Florida, and New York. The CDC Championship League is underway tonight. It is the United States premier match of the week presented by Magic Darts Incorporated. Hello again, everyone. I'm Colin Cosell. And man, oh man, have we got a great one for you tonight as we feature not only a rematch of the 2019 Continental Cup final, but a match between the last two Continental Cup champions. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. It's Danny Lauby and it's Gary the Mauler Mawson. And I'll have more on them in just a moment. Just to let you know what has been going on in and around the league. The last five matches, to be exact. Mawson, the very one you're going to see tonight, was over Cheney last Thursday, 8-6. On our live stream, you saw Jeremiah Millar beat Nick Lindbergh, 8-6. On Monday, Jim Long beat Kylie Edmonds, while Nick Lindbergh stopped Chuck Puglio, both by 8-6 finals. And last night, history was made. Kerry Way was way down to Sean Brenman, 5-2, but they went into the break, came back, and it was reversed. Kerry Way went on to win 5-2 and made it our first ever tie 7-7. Let's take a look at some of the upcoming premier matches on the live stream. Next week, it will be on USA Darts YouTube channel and Champ Darts on Facebook. It's going to be the Mauler and the Eagle. Mawson and Butler playing in the U.S. division on Tuesday. Meanwhile, in Canada, Kylie Edmonds and Ross Nook will go at it on Wednesday. And the following week, we return to the Magic Darts channel channels where we'll have Campbell and Edmonds and then Cheney and Millar, every match, as always, begins at 8 p.m. Eastern. But let's get back to tonight, an absolute marquee matchup where we've got reigning Continental Cup champion Danny Lauby, the 27-year-old from Terre Haute, Indiana, taking on the 2018 Continental Cup champion, the 56-year-old Gary Mawson. And I know we've got a graphic to go with it. I swear we do. And if not, I'll just tell you more about him. Danny Lauby is ranked fifth currently in our two-year order of merit with the CDC. Meanwhile, Mawson is ranked sixth in our two-year order, uh, two order of merit. The Mauler, formerly of Ontario, now calls Lehigh Acres, Florida, his home. And Danny Lauby, born and raised and still re resides in Terre Haute, Indiana. So let's get to meet our players. Gentlemen, if you can hear me. I hear you guys. Hey, Colin. Good to hear you again. It's been a while. <laughs> Oh, there they are. What's going on, gentlemen? Good to see you once again. Uh, Gary, first of all, in uh, the, the the madness that is this pandemic, you were able to celebrate your anniversary over the weekend. Congratulations on that. But uh, how is everything going down there in Florida outside of that? Oh, uh, we're getting by. All Gary, right. can you hear me? Uh, the weather's uh, been very cooperative. And, uh, just waiting on the beaching because I've got to my frost call. I can hear you. All right. And Danny Lauby, our reigning Continental Cup champion. All right. Sorry about that. The audio is breaking up. Technology is not the most reliable, but uh, so it goes. Uh, Danny, you've got a, a young family to tend to. Tell me how you guys are holding up in light of everything that's been going on. Oh, we're doing great, man. Uh, you know, with this whole thing going on, I've had a lot more time to be at home with the family and experiencing all the stuff that my fiance has to go through every day when I'm at work. And man, it's, it's insane. So I'm lucky to have a quiet house right now. So I'm looking forward to this match. Sorry about that. Had some technical difficulties of my own. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Ah, perfect. We are back. Um, well, I'm glad to hear that everyone's safe and healthy. Enough of the small talk. Let's get down to corking. Let's get down to darts. Had to uh, reset my stream as well. But uh, we're going to get this underway nonetheless. So. 
I'll let you guys uh, get to corking, and we'll get this match underway. Of course, tonight's match, as always, and the CDC Championship League is brought to you by Magic Darts Incorporated. Scoring is brought to you by Dart Connect, and the live stream is brought to you by USA Darts Productions, where we've got Kevin Malenfant and L. David Irit at the helm. I, once again, am Colin Cosell. Thank you all so much for joining us. As the gentlemen throw a few more warm-ups, I'll tell you a little bit more about them. Gary the Mahler Mawson, hailing from Lehigh Acres, Florida, shoots a 21-gram Mawson signature by Unicorn Dart. He, of course, won the 2018 Continental Cup. Has the distinct honor of saying he beat Phil Taylor in the singles PDC World Cup in 2013. Meanwhile, Danny Lauby. Shooting his 22 gram Cujo prototypes. He is our reigning Continental Cup champion. He's a CDC match play finalist three times and a PDC US Masters qualifier two times. So the match is well underway. We had the cork already set. My apologies on that. We had some technical difficulties before. We're all getting caught up together now. Danny Lobby with his signature throwing style, which is more like throwing a basketball for a free throw. Rapid fire, but the man knows his outs. Gary Mawson, a little more, not slower per se, more calculated, I guess is the correct term. And we thank all of you for joining us at home. And what a magical time to be alive. You're watching live darts. You're watching competitive sports happening right there from the comfort of your own home, tablet, phone, smart TV, whatever your chosen vessel is to be watching this. There's some of Danny's amazing mathematical skills on display right there. You got to be good at math. He's a drummer, for God's sake. You got to be able to count. And that man can do it. Mawson, of course. He's going to kill me for saying this, but nearly twice the age of Danny Lauby. Just knows this sport because he's been playing it for so long. Lauby now looking for leg number one. And my goodness, just like that, he hits a single 18 and the double nine to take out the first leg. Shooting a 100 average there in that opening leg. For those of you who don't know what's going on here or how this works, every match is worth two points. Every match is a race to eight, best of 14 in the event. Like last night, there's a 7-7 tie. It will be one point allocated to each. We have the seven top players from the United States, seven top players from Canada. And by the end of this, the seven-week run of round-robin style, as Gary Mawson hits a ton there, uh, the top four from each country will then play in country divisions, uh, finals, semifinals, and then finals, and then the Last two men standing, one from the U.S., one from Canada, will play for the first ever championship league title. Lobby with an 80 to open there. And, of course, kudos to all of the, the brains behind the CDC who, in light of the pandemic, were able to pivot and put together this virtual league with some of the top shooters. And it beats the heck out of watching ESPN the Ocho, doesn't it? Who wants to see a cherry spitting competition when you could watch two phenomenal shooters going head to head virtually? I was asked by someone earlier today, how do you know they're standing at the hockey? How do you know they're not cheating? Because they don't cheat. They're too good to cheat. A lesson can be learned out there in electronic darts. Danny Lauby trying to get down to an out, unable to do so. Now Mawson looking to take out a 121, will not do so with those two fives. Oh. And you could hear the grunt of exasperation out of Mawson in the form of a, huh. But that's okay, he will have another shot at it. As Lauby, boom, 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 knocks down all three darts. I'm not gonna do the math, I'm gonna allow Dark Connect to do it for me because I'm looking at the same angle you are, gets himself down to 111, Mawson now, two dart out. Goes, no, he's going three. Oh, 
not the second dart he wanted. He was going the 51 double top route. Second dart sailed away from him. The gravity very strong down there in Lehigh Valley or Lehigh Acres or whatever it is, Florida. And there goes Danny Lauby. Got the 71 to start. Did not get the double top, as you can see. Mawson afforded a chance to hold throw. And he does so. One dart is all it takes. And we are notched at one. So Mawson shot a 94 average there on that particular throw. And a, ooh, a new angle for us. I like the production value on this one. We've got the dart connect on the left and the board stacked on top of each other on the right. We're figuring it out as we go along, pretty much like anyone else at home during this pandemic. So I guess the unofficial sponsor would be COVID-19. I hope they pay me royalties and not in an infection. Now it's up to Mawson trying to answer that ton. And it looks like he might have done it with a ton 40. And indeed he did. My eyes do not deceive me. At 40 years old, I don't need glasses yet. God bless us, everyone. Danny Lobby, the signature rapid fire. This time falls into a 60. Great to see some of our competitors in the league watching along with us right now. Some names I've not seen and people I've not seen in quite some time. What's going on, Chuck Pankow and Bob Hudzik? Andrew Koss, how are you, my friend? Congratulations on the uh, the one-year anniversary. You are now completely free of cancer, and we are thrilled for you. A year ago, his life changed. Right now, he is a survivor, and we love that he's with us. Mawson, now looking to maul that triple 20 and gets a ton 35. Now Lobby. The gentle tap of his fingernails on the Dart Connect board leads us to a 58. Now Mawson. Gets the 107 to leave himself 36, the 18, the bane of his existence, I should say. Can't get out of the way of my own tongue. And that last leg was able to pull it out nonetheless. Now, Moss in the double 18. And it looks to me like he got it. And there's our first break of the match and of the night. Moss in with a 2-1 lead now. Ups his average to 90. They're at 90 apiece. And that was a gorgeous 13 darter out of the mauler. Two gorgeous starts. Third one, trying to avoid the traffic jam around the triple 20. Comes away with a gorgeous ton 40 to lead off this fourth leg. We will be taking a break after the seventh leg, no matter the score. And a ton from Lauby. If we've learned anything about Danny Lauby, when he catches fire, hell hath no fury. But if Mawson is able to continue a nice calculated pace the way he likes to, he could very easily kind of force his way into a win against such a tough competitor. This is a rematch of the Continental Cup Championship from last fall in New York City, the first time we hosted it there. Phenomenal job by everyone. We had a great time. Little Richard Ashdown was with us. We had such a, an incredible crowd there. Everyone so loud and kind of felt like a mini Alley Pally. I mean, a, a much miniature Alley Pally, but nonetheless, best one we've had. Mawson is now officially down to an out. Lobby needs a big round. And Lobby was telling us he is able to work, but he's also able to spend some time at home, which is great because he's got a little one. He's got a couple of little ones. There's a ton. And, of course, his fiance Haley, so he gets to spend time with them when he's not teaching people how to drum. He's a drumming instructor. And he just 
was drumming that triple 20 right there. A ton 80, a maximum for Lauby. Puts pressure on Mawson. 45 for Mawson. He loved it. And he got the double eight. Indeed, he did. Mawson now up three legs to one. A 14 darter to back up his 13 daughter. Mawson is officially en fuego. But Espanol, for you at home, that is on fire. Dark Neck refreshes, and here we go into the fifth leg. Truly at a frenetic pace here early on. Geoff Miller, how are you, my friend? I am keeping an eye on the comments in the thread on the A to Z darts.com slash magic darts. Facebook page where we've got the stream this week and we will be alternating every week. Next week we return to the USA Darts YouTube channel and Facebook.com slash champ darts for the live stream on Facebook. And for those of you watching, we're just kind of experimenting with different views. This is a new one for us right now. We'll, uh, We'll get back to the, the other one, the side-by-side, -side, shortly. You know, it's like freshman year in college. It's weird. There's experimentation. You don't know what you're doing. There's an 85 out of Gary. Danny Lauby with a ton. So... Calculated darts out of Lobby leaves him 161. Mawson with 316. Remaining needs a big round. Quinn, I'd take the under. Trying to come up with some new material tonight. There's a nice 97 Lauby knowing he does not have to rush it at all because Gary needs a big round right now. Now Lauby, don't blink, you might miss it. Double 16. And that's what you expect to see out of Danny Lauby, your current CDC champion. Cuts it to three to two by breaking Mawson. I'm sorry, by holding throw and now looks to break Mawson in order to make it three three. That leg was much like watching The Mandalorian. Not much happened until the very end, and then it was nothing but fireworks. It was exciting, it was thrilling. And then Gus Spring from Breaking Bad made an appearance. I'm just kidding. He was not a part of that match, but you see what I'm saying. Back to our side-to-side -side view, the split view that you've grown accustomed to. Again, we're just having some fun with this, figuring out as we go. Ton 40 for Lauby. Looking for the break to notch this at three. I see we have a lot of the same crowd we had in New York City and Queens last fall for the CDC Continental Cup final between these two. Lawson was looking for the first ever back-to-back -back Continental Cup champion in CDC history. Danny Lobby said, no, sir, I have other plans. He didn't say those exact words, but he certainly did at the dartboard and at the hockey. Mawson now. A ton of 21. Now Lauby just trying to get himself down to an out. He pulled the vanilla ice there, stopped, collaborated, and listened. Got himself down to 121. I'm pretty sure vanilla ice 
precedes Danny Lauby by many years. Mawson with a groan of discontent. You could tell as that dart fell into the single one. Look for the marker, or rather the uh, the cover on that last shot, tri trying to get the treble 19, fell into the single. Now look at Lauby go. Oh, he wanted that triple 13. Still an 81. Traditional? No, it doesn't matter. No, it does not. Mawson now. Has to know he needs to take this out. Only one way to do it. Uh, oh, that uh, second uh, dart got away from him. Third one out of pure frustration because he knows Lauby is knocking on the door. 40 double tops. One dart is all it takes for Danny Lauby, and we are notched at three. Both of these gentlemen have broken each other but have not broken our hearts. And if anything, I've never felt warmer and more in love with the game of darts than I do right now. Seventh leg, notched at three, after which we will take a break. I think we're all going to need it. Only for a few minutes, though. Bobby doing his best Rick James. Give it to me, and he did not. Gary Mawson, I guess in uh, Florida, they're experiencing an earthquake of sorts. A very shaky situation indeed. A lobby with what looked like a ton. Indeed it was. My eyes don't deceive me. Gary Mawson with a number loved by dispensaries all throughout Colorado. Would love a ton 20 or a ton 40 here. I was not going to get it. Third dart, though, managed to get it into that triple. Danny Lauby, the sigh of disbelief. That third dart got away from him. Mawson pounding and brutalizing that triple 20 with the next two darts after the first one got away from him. Not down to an out yet, though. Lauby, not... Looking too sharp in this leg. At least not what we're used to with him. Boston just wants to get himself down to an out. And he does so. Brilliant third dart indeed. Leaves him 130. Third dart going for that bullseye rapid fire pace. That was 50 scored. So Gary Mawson looking for our high out of the night. I spoke too soon. Gary grumbled right back at me. And again, this is the beauty of having the live stream. The cameras are set up by the players. They're part of the production team themselves. It's not just Irene. It's not just Melanfon. It's not just me. These two players and every player we have on the live stream, they are part of the production staff. They have extensive meetings leading up to the matches where they set up their cameras, learn their marks and what have you. And we thank them for that and their patience. Now, Mawson trying to go into the break by holding throw. 16. That 20 double top. Yeah. And it did not go in, or did it? The suspense. And that did go in, so we are taking a break, ladies and gentlemen. With that, we like building a little bit of suspense, as I could not see the angle there. But Mawson takes a 4-3 lead into the break. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, you are watching the CDC Championship League. Tonight, it is the United States premier match of the week. We have matches every week, one from the U.S. division, one from the Canadian division, and it amounts to every week, every match worth two points. It is a best of 14 race to eight legs format in the event of a 7-7 tie. Each player will get one point apiece, and all that will matter because only the top four from the U.S. and Canadian divisions will advance to the playoffs at the conclusion of week seven. 
like to remind you that our upcoming live streams are going to include the very man you're watching tonight, Gary Mawson, the Marler, taking on Larry, the Eagle Butler. They will be playing in the U.S. Division on Tuesday at 8 p.m. Meanwhile, in Canada, Kylie Edmonds and Ross Snook will go at it next Wednesday. And then the following week, we will return to the Magic Darts channels on YouTube and Facebook, while Matt Campbell, the representative of Canada at the Alley Pally last December, and Kylie Edmonds will be going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. The graphic now backing me up just to make sure that I'm correct. And indeed, I am April 28th, 28th, as I said, Matt Campbell and Kylie Edmonds. And then we will round out the, that week with our Amer American match on the 29th, Joe Chaney and Jeremiah Millar. All matches begin at e 8 Eastern. I'm getting ahead of myself. I can't even speak anymore. It is just one of those nights, I guess. Looking down the schedule, some of the matches that really stand out. We've got some fantastic matches. We've got Danny Lauby and Lindbergh in, on week uh, four. That will be uh, next week, if I'm not mistaken. Or the uh, following week, I'm sorry, in two weeks. We're wrapping up week two right now out of the possible seven weeks. We've got Kerry Wayne, Kiefer Durham. Uh, we've got Sean Brenneman and Kylie Edmonds, Matt Campbell and Ross Snook, Lindbergh, Mawson, Jeremiah Millar and Mawson, every single player from the U.S., all seven of them will have to play each other in a round-robin kind of format. Same for the Canadian division. Then it will all culminate on Tuesday, May 26th, the divisional semis, uh, or semis rather, for the U.S. and Canada, the top four seeded, moving on to the United States division finals and Canada division finals. And then the final men standing, one from the U.S., one from Canada. No one likes to see a war between neighbors, but on Thursday, May 28th, Yes, we will. It will be the CDC Championship League Championship, and hopefully at that point we will have some sort of semblance of normalcy or whatever the new normal is and see where we go with the CDC tour from there. But in the meantime, we thank you for joining us in these tough times. Uh, but we're trying to bring you some normalcy and some comfort. Once again, when we return, Gary Mawson with his 87 average so far, but has a 4-3 to three lead over Danny Lauby shooting a 90 average on the match thus far. We have seven legs to go. That is, unless Gary goes on a 4-0 run. But I don't anticipate that happening. I'm pretty sure this is going to go the distance. I'm not a betting man. I'm not allowed to because I'm in New York. By our New Jersey, I could probably bet money on it. Unless someone wants to side, you know, send me some, uh, some side action, you know. Just send me a little message on the side. That's all I'm saying. Taking a look at our commentary going on in the thread and not just out of my mouth, I want to say hi to Paul Burns, Burner. And thank you, Chris Mitchell. You know, I think we should continue this on some level, but I would also like to get back to the tour. So we'll, uh, we'll see. But the beautiful thing about this is there is no home field advantage except for all of us that get to be in our homes witnessing these great darts and of course these competitors going head to head for everyone's enjoyment and of course you know there's there's some pride on the line maybe a little money i don't know doesn't come out of my pocket i'm just here to let you know what's happening provide some laughs and levity in light of a very very dark time i hope all of you are staying home staying safe if you have to go out masks gloves the whole nine until we're able to get this thing under control. And if you are a member of the, the front lines, those who are out there, the medical workers, first responders, thank you, thank you, thank you. You are the true heroes through all of this, no matter what happens. And hopefully as a result, uh, nurses and, and teachers, those who have to teach from home, hopefully all of you start getting the same kind of salaries that professional athletes do. Not necessarily darts. I'm talking about, you know, like baseball, hockey, basketball, football. Um, you know, darts, we're just trying to build that up. All right, we're about to get underway here. The second half 
of the match here between our last two Continental Cup champions, Gary Moss in 2018 in Los Angeles, Danny Lauby 2019 in New York City. I'm Colin Cosell. Thank you so much for being a part of this tonight. Fun statistic from our friend from Dirty Jersey Darts, David Garfinkel. Only three of the nine matches so far have not gone the full 14 legs. Huh. How about that? I come for the darts. I stay for the education. So Gary Mawson, who was able to break Lowry in that last leg, yep. will lead off the eighth leg up four to three. Once again, Lowry from his home in Terre Haute, right, Indiana. Danny. Gary Mawson yep. at his home in Lehigh Acres, Florida. Southwest Florida, I believe, kind of near the Fort Myers kind of region. And Mawson leads off this eighth leg with a ton. Got to love the brilliant choreography there. They couldn't hear a word I was saying. They just knew to get up there and do what they had to do. I love that. It's kind of like when we take our puppy bagel out for a walk. That's when he knows it's time to get down to business. That's right. Proud owner of a puppy. My wife, Julia, and I have been blessed with a wonderful little dog while Gary Mawson has been blessed with a, a gorgeous ton 40. And I don't think anyone has enjoyed quarantine more than our seventh month old bagel Alonzo Cosell. Mawson looking for back-to-back -to -back ton 40s. And he does so. Mawson coming out firing right now. Danny Lauby now looking for an answer. That answer is a 60. It's like answering knock, knock, what's up? Instead of who's there. That's the wrong answer. That's the joke. Mawson with another huge round. Leaves him 32. Lauby pretty much down and out in this leg. Mawson looking to take that commanding 5-3 lead. Looks like that third dart went in. No, it did not. All of them on the outside of the double 16. Lobby's approach, when in doubt, bullet out. A little bit of pressure on Mawson now, though. But he's not feeling that pressure at all. The veteran, the, the wily veteran in the mauler, Gary Mawson, takes out the 32 with a double 16. The traditional route. <laughs> Unless you want to go double eight, double eight, but why? Why would you do that? So the Mauler, three legs away from winning the night. Lauby needs to step it up a little bit here. Only down two legs, but with an opponent like Gary Mawson, you don't want to let him get too comfortable or get too far ahead. Lauby, who had... A title in 2019 in a CDC event, two titles, one in 2019 over Joe Huffman. And Gary Mawson, who has hit nine, dart uh, nine darters in competition in his day. But both of these gentlemen capable of tremendous darts. <laughs> With a nickname like the Mauler, it's safe to say that he could go into wrestling if he were to put darts on hold for a little while. After all, wrestling has been deemed essential in Florida. Very few reasons why Florida gets jokes about them. I'm just kidding. I love Florida. It's 
just, you know, wrestling essential? I don't know. But darts is essential, and we're bringing it to you. And we're able to zoom in there. So Lobby with a big round brings himself down to 78. Has a comfortable lead, but Mawson has something to say about that. Oh, third dart got away from him, and the telltale, oof, out of Mawson. We've got some of our CDC youth tuning in. That is awesome. Thank you guys for tuning in. That is just tremendous. Lobby in no rush after an errant dart. Gets himself down to the out he requires, and that would be double top. The last time he hit that, he notched this thing at three apiece. Since then, the mauler has been a terror on the triple 20. I agree with Evan Myers. I like that zoom in as well because it helps my eyes to tell me Danny Lauby has taken the ninth leg, the double top, and it is five to four now. Okay. Anthony Eugenio with a bit of a history lesson on Mawson's most famous nine daughter, but you can find that in the comment thread. I'm not going to steal his thunder. Although if we do get another maximum tonight, I will have to do my best, Anthony Eugenio. So that the onus, which is now on the players and off of me. 96 to open this 10th leg for Mawson. Lauby able to stop the bleeding, but looking to open up a, a new wound on Mawson. Mawson there with, looked like a ton 40, and it was indeed. Pressure now back on Lauby. And apparently James Butler is trying to steal my thunder, offering his own commentary at home. That's okay. It's all right. You can mute me. I get it. Sometimes I wish I could mute myself. Now allow me. Just trying to notch it up at five apiece. As you see, the averages so far, Lobby 90 for the match. Gary Mawson, 85 on the match. Look at Moss and go. Smart third dart, but it goes just north of the triple 17. Lauby. Not exactly the big round he's hoping for. Now Mawson. Oh, what a beautiful one-two punch there. The triple 10, the double top. Mawson takes a six to four lead, a tremendous finish. Ups his average to 87 on the match. A 107 average on that particular leg. Just tremendous darts from Mawson. So Lauby opens up with, looks like a 60, and it was indeed. Lawson, two legs away from winning the night, opens up with that triple 20. He has been on fire with it and goes right back at it. A ton 40 to open up the 11th leg for Mawson. Mawson looking to drum the drummer. Lauby looking to maul the mauler. Ton 40 for Lauby now. These are the darts we're anticipating. And if you love the darts, recline, stand up, whatever, you're at home. Mawson now. Another ton 40. Tremendous darts now. Back to that frenetic pace with darts that are just scorching the scoreboard there on Dart Connect. And as soon as I say that, Lobby with a 60. Mauler back to the triple 20. Terrorizing it. You can tell he was disappointed with that third dart. He desperately wanted that ton 40 there. 
Bobby needs at least a ton. Readjusted, third dart. Did not go where he wanted it to. Now, Mawson, look at him go. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, look at that. Woo! Bringing out my best Ric Flair, baby. Tremendous darts out of Mawson. Knocking down the double bull to take a commanding 7-4 lead. All Lobby can hope for now is a tie. Mawson just needs to win one of the next three legs. And that's a ton 40 for Mawson. The old adage, trebles for show, doubles for dough. The thing is, Lauby has the ability. We've seen it time and time again, and boom! That's a 180 for Lauby. Now, Mawson. Coming off of a 15 darter that felt like a lot less the way he finished that off. Mawson with another ton 40. The triple 20. Getting pounded on like it said something offensive about his beautiful wife and family. How dare you, triple 20. Lauby now on fire himself. Looking to stay alive, looking to get a tie out of this. And another ton 40 from Austin. I'd say, can you believe it? But yes, yes, you can. Austin with our high out of the night. You saw it in the very last leg. Lowby thoroughly disappointed with that round of 60. We're not 81, but that matters not. Austin now looking for the win with an 81. Lines it up. A 19. Leaves him 62. Oh, 36. And the double 13 does not fall for him. Lowby now looking to stay alive. 81 is what he requires. Oh, and it gets away from him. Gary Mawson to win the night. Double 13 is all he requires. And he gets it. The Mauler exacts his revenge on Danny Lauby. Danny. The tables have turned. That is the match. Nice. A played, frenetic man. pace, a tremendous finish. Three ton 40s oh, to crazy. open up that leg. Unbelievable job, gentlemen. Wow. <laughs> what a great match, especially for Gary Mawson. Gary, if I may get you on your mark, we'd love to have a quick interview with you. If your internet will support it. Or if mine will, you never know. And if not, then we will just move on and call it a night. But what a tremendous finish there for Gary Mawson. There's the mauler. Hi, Gary. Hi. There we go. We just got a wave and a high. Gary, you kicked it into high gear there after he tied it up at 3-3. Three, three, and then you took five of the next six legs what exactly changed for you? Because at the break, you had that, you had that, uh, you were able to break him and then come back into it. Uh, nothing seemed to stop you. What really, uh, what was firing for you tonight? Oh. I, oh, I just. <sighs> My, other than my mom, my biggest fan in the whole world, I lost him this week, and I he watched me like play Joe, and I got to talk to him, and and I just wanted I to win. 
I'm going to leave it at that. It was a great, <laughs> I just, I love you, Dave. I miss you. And I just want to say, Danny, you know, I know you, I know you're great and you can play better. And I just, I, I, I just, I just got in the mode today and that, that, uh, that's all I got. Great. Okay. Gary, well, we appreciate it. Thank you so much. Our sincere condolences on your loss. I know that was very, very tough. Um, but uh, we appreciate you uh, pulling together the gumption and the spirit and taking the, the spirit of your friend with you into playing tonight. You did a tremendous job. You made us proud, and I have no doubt that you made your friend proud as well. Uh, and so I'm sure Dave is smiling upon you as well as the dark gods. Congratulations, and thank you for being a part of this tonight. We really appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner tonight by an 8-4 to four margin, Gary Mawson. Thank you, Colin. Thanks, everybody. And thank you all at home for watching. We really appreciate it. We know how tough that was. Well, that's going to do it for tonight's match, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to thank all of you for tuning in and sharing this link with your friends and fellow Dart fans. In a world devoid of live sports, it is an honor to me to let you know that we've got you covered. And speaking of which, our next broadcast will be next Tuesday, the 21st, as Gary Mawson will return to the live stream and to the hockey to take on Larry the Eagle Butler, who will be making his CDC Lie, a League live stream debut. That match will, of course, begin at 8 p.m. Eastern. Another quick reminder that now the CDC Fan Club Forum, uh, the contest going on is now officially over. The chance to win a custom designed jersey from Magic Wear, as well as a free year of Dark Connect Premium, it is now closed. The winner will be drawn tomorrow. I'd like to thank our sponsor, Magic Darts Incorporated. Visit a to zdarts.com for all your darts needs. And a special thank you to Dark Connect for simply being awesome. This broadcast was brought to you by USA Dart Productions, courtesy of Kevin Malafont and our super producer, L. David Irit. All images and players, CDC logos, and what have you are strictly owned by the championship dart circuit. On behalf of Danny, Gary, and our amazing crew working behind the scenes in the CDC, I'm Collins Cosell saying, stay home, stay safe, take care of each other, and I'll see you next Tuesday. Ha <laughs> ha.